Aloha friends! Let's see if I can hold the ring light and the camera at the same time. Um, this is a Trader Joe's haul. I just try to limit my Trader Joe's shopping now to about two, three bags. Three bags the most because I don't want to buy an overabundance of things into the pantry. I try to use up as much as I can before having to go uh, to Trader Joe's or like the commissary or Costco. Um, this one, um, I wanted to show you guys first the plant. And so I bought an aloe plant right here. Uh, this one was, I want to say it was like $4.99 and it came with this white um, pot, which I really, really like. And the reason that I got the aloe plant was because of this one. I just did a video today of the Sensi aloe vera warmer that I just recently got a few days ago. Don't mind the mess. There's a, we're redoing our kitchen, but I love this so much. Look how beautiful it is. So I put it into a, a ceramic pot, my own pot. It just came with this one. So as you guys can see, I put a Trader Joe's uh, chai tea container in there. The same container that is like this one, the matcha. Um, it fits perfectly inside and then I surrounded it with um, with rocks and then I'm able to just place this uh, Scentsy aloe vera warmer on top and then I'm going to put it into my kitchen uh, bay window. So along with that, I'm going to put um, a real live aloe vera plant. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys that first of all. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I did get two other plants that I wanted to show you. This one is a house plant. They were all the same price, $4.99. This one, when I use my uh, plant app, so there is an app, uh, an app to where you just take a picture of the plant, and then it will tell you the variety of that uh, plant. So this one is a, a family of the, is it canna? <laughs> kind of those tropical plants and as you guys can see it's starting to like really uh, form a new leaf right uh, right here this one I don't know I did not check a lady actually grabbed it and then placed it ba back into the potting area so I, um, I went ahead and purchased it on my way out uh, came back and stood in line because I really like this one it's just a very nice plant it's actually very full right now, but let me see if I can take it out. Ooh, see how pretty it is? Um, and then I purchased those uh, Michael's um, pots, 70% off, that I showed you guys onto the video. And so it's going to really go well um, onto that one. So I got those three plants. And then my Trader Joe, back to my Trader Joe's haul. Javi and I love this one and the kids. We use this one for our chili. So I'll make a, a chili onto my uh, kusori. It's like an Instapot, but it's a kusori um, pot. And then we eat the chili along with these uh, organic uh, elote corn chips uh, dippers. So, so good. But they're actually good by itself along with um, salsa. Oh, so good. This is one of our favorite corn chips. And we are grilling tonight, so we have some buns and then um, some hot dog buns and then hamburger buns. And then for the hamburger, we're not actually grilling um, hamburgers. Uh, hubby is grilling some of this uh, chili lime chicken burgers. Kids really love this. He loves this as well. I'm going to put that aside so he'll probably come in here and grab that. And then we got some apples. I don't have a lot of room, so let me go ahead and start taking out stuff before I forget. Um, apples. This one is the tango. This is supposed to be like crisp, sweet, and then a little bit of tangy. They did not have my honey crisp, so I just grabbed these. And they, these are pretty good as well. I am making a recipe that has, um, it's a spaghetti. It's a Thai noodle, but I'm using spaghetti noodles, so I got spaghetti. And then the recipe calls for uh, rice vinegar, which I already had, cilantro, garlic, um, English cucumber, uh, shredded carrots, and then some peanuts, and then lime juice. So I got all these for that recipe, and then plus the spaghetti, and it's amazing. So it's one of um, it's one of my go-to Thai dishes to make at home um, for like the family because Danielle is uh, allergic to certain nuts, but she can definitely have some peanuts. So um, everybody eats that. It's so amazing. I can share the recipes with you guys if you um, if you want. This one is the masala simmer sauce. I love this as well. I, I had just cooked this a few days ago, and then I wanted to go ahead and grab another one. 
because the kids love it. Just a couple of bananas. Um, over at Trader Joe's, they sell the, ban the bananas by pieces, so it's 19 cents each. I just got three um, for like after walks. I don't like my bananas like too ripe. When it's too soft, I turn it into um, smoothies or like put them into the freezer for smoothies or turn them into like banana bread. So Hubby is trying out, I don't know if he's purchased this before. Hubby likes these for his like uh, work lunch. Uh, because he, he can easily just um, come into the, he works from home, but he can come into the kitchen, microwave it, and then go back to his meetings because he goes through like meetings all day. This is the reduced guilt uh, spinach and cheese stuff shells with marinara sauce. Okay, got that. And then like I said, the spaghetti, so I got another one of those. And then hubby also liked this one. This is the pepperoni pizza mac and cheese. He got two of that. Turbinado sugar. We like this. Um, we like this one for our coffee. Hold the cone. You guys know uh, Danica loves that. It's also perfect for adults that's on <laughs> trying to watch their you know intake of sugar because it's just very small. It's a very small cone. It's a perfect one serving cone for the kids and for adults. All right, and then. Jonathan. Jonathan, mom, can you get me my favorite candy bar? So this is his favorite. He loves this. He loves the Belgian chocolate. And then, of course, we have to have our teeny tiny avocados for uh, Danielle and I. We love this into our morning toast. Uh, this one with salt and pepper. Oh, gosh, and eggs. Oh, eggs over easy kind of thing. It's just delicious. And then I told you guys last time I did forget to grab this, so I made sure to grab this uh, this time. This is the aioli garlic mustard sauce. So perfect to use as a marinade, as a dipping sauce. Oh, we even put this into like um, quesadillas when I grill chicken. I, um, I spread this onto the, the tortilla, add uh, cheese, and then also add like the grilled meat that we have grilled the night before. So, so good. That's what we had uh, for lunch today. I'm using this kind of light, uh, lighting because it's um, I'm losing daylight. All right, and then honey. I have been making my own ice cream, and one of my ice cream recipe calls for honey, and this is um, a very affordable uh, honey to be able to add on to my ice cream recipe because it calls for a quarter of a cup, so I can make three batches with this um, honey. This is new. This is the honey, is it Aleppo sauce, a sweet, savory, tangy, and slightly spicy all-purpose sauce. So wanted to try this one. All right, so we got uh, organic sugar cone because like I said, I've been making ice cream. The All right, so the family loves this one. This one I've shown you guys many times before. Matcha green tea, latte milk, everything is included in here. You don't have to add anything else but the milk or the water. So the recipe, um, the back of the this one says you can use milk or water. We use milk, but we use like a 2% milk. And what I do is I use my... Um, the Hayden Eon that uh, Hayden Eon has given me. I use that to froth the milk and then I add this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's actually, I want to say it's if it's not as good as Starbucks, it's even better than Starbucks. And for this, $3.99, we go through this like nothing. Um, I can make this $3.99 for the family of six. That's why I always purchase kind of two so good at starbucks you get like a grande size and how much is it like almost five dollars so very um, economical and very very good so try it with uh, frothed, uh, frothed milk not just regular milk try to froth it um, regular milk will taste good as well but really the frothed milk is just really amazing okay we got regular mac and cheese and then hubby the doctor says hubby needs to have more fiber onto his diet so he's trying out the frosted maple and brown sugar shredded bite-sized wheat so he's trying that out and you guys know how much i love these two products i've shown you this onto my video when i made uh, my video regarding the um um like taking care of our face our morning and evening routine for my hair the this one the hair mask oh my gosh i'll leave it um i'll leave it on this one i'll leave it on overnight so amazing this one is so amazing um to use overnight when my hair is wet and then i'll, I'll put my hair in a bun when i wake up the next morning super silky soft okay really like this one this one danielle has been using she really does like it as well 
it just says leave uh, three to five minutes so I'll just rinse it off just a little bit not too much and then um, get out and then also add this one so it makes my hair really soft that is it that is my Trader Joe's haul for the week I try to go to Trader Joe's every other week and this is about the same thing that I usually get with yeah. these plants I'm really glad that I picked them up add some greens onto the household there um, all three of them are household plants so cannot wait to repot that into their beautiful uh, new home as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple life mahalo